Here's a question. What exactly is the difference between a series circuit and a parallel circuit? Now this is a little cartoon of a series circuit here. The electricity comes out of the battery and goes through each of the light bulbs in series. That means one after the other before returning back to the battery. Now contrast that with a parallel circuit. In a parallel circuit, the electricity comes out but then immediately branches and splits going through each light bulb in parallel with one another before recombining and going back into the battery. Now the main difference in these two different configurations is that in the series situation, uh, it's simpler, first of all, and also if one of these light bulbs burns out or becomes inoperative, it completely interrupts the current flow in the entire circuit. So if this bulb burns out, then all three bulbs go off, basically. If this bulb burns out, all three bulbs go off in the same with this one. Now in the parallel configuration, if this bulb burns out, because it's in parallel, the electric electricity can still flow through the other bulb and keep it illuminated. So for light bulbs, you never really want to connect them all in series because you don't want all of them to go out if you have a bulb burn out. In this case, if one of them goes out, the other branch still has electricity flowing through it. Now when you think about it, the filament of a light bulb behaves like a resistor with a certain resistance. So we'll replace the diagram with the same situation, a battery, some electric current, and you're encountering the elements in series. So this is a series circuit. If you want to find out what the total resistance is as seen from the battery in series because it's one after another, effectively all you're doing is you're adding up the uh, resistances there. So as you add resistors or light bulbs in series, you're increasing the total resistance as seen by the battery looking into the circuit. Now here's a similar diagram looking uh, at a circuit that has elements in parallel. There is an equivalent resistance equation, but it looks quite different. You have these fractions and so on. What this basically means is that the resistance looking from the battery, as you add more and more elements, the resistance actually goes down. Because think about it, even if I uh, make this element very high resistance, high resistance, high resistance, if the first element has a low resistance, it still has a path to go uh, around back to the battery. Battery. So no matter how many elements or resistors I add in parallel, the total resistance looking through all those parallel arrangements has to go down because even if I add a lot of different resistors, I'm just adding more paths for the electricity to come back to the battery. And it's important to be able to add up resistances for different circuits to use Ohm's Law. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.